One month ago, the first COVID-19 update went out to our campuses. It focused on travel restrictions. Eight days later, our campuses were informed that in light of the developing pandemic, the university was considering a variety of measures, including alternative course delivery and alternative mod modalities for final exams. Since then, life has changed dramatically for all members of the university community, students, faculty, staff, alumni, community clients at the Lifelong Learning Center, the Schwann Center, the gym, the pool, and more. All of us are living in a new reality, one that none of us could have foreseen even a month ago. This morning, the New York Times reported that half the world, four billion people, have been told to stay in their homes. Here in Regina, authorities are extending social distancing practices. For example, the walking path around Moscana Lake has now been restricted to one-way traffic so as to make it safer for those using it. As part of our effort to stem the spread of COVID-19, the vast majority of our faculty and employees have been working from home with only a skeleton staff present on campuses to maintain buildings and systems, to ensure lab safety, and to keep campuses secure. I want to thank each of them again for the tremendous efforts they are making at this time of global disruption to ensure that university operations continue. Their commitment has been unparalleled, and I am deeply grateful for it. It's a sobering experience to be in university hallways that are now empty in the bustle and laughter of students, faculty, and staff. But together, like people around the globe, we are doing what we must to reduce the severity of the pandemic's impact on our community. We are doing our part, and we will continue to do so. In particular, we must do all we can collectively to reduce the pandemic's impact on our healthcare system and on thousands of dedicated Saskatchewan healthcare professionals who have the responsibility of caring for those who are or who will become ill. In this respect, the coming weeks and months are critical for our province. As you will know, the spring and summer terms will be delivered remotely. Many are now asking about plans for the fall term. At this point, no decisions have been made. We are in regular communication with our post-secondary partners, the Ministry of Advanced Education, the University of Saskatchewan, SAS Polytechnic, and the regional colleges with regard to next steps. By mid-May, together with our partners, we will communicate a decision about the fall term. I want to close this message by assuring all members of the university community that we value them. We value their work and we value their wellness. I know we will continue to support each other in this time of trial and upheaval. I know we will continue to support the communities that surround and support us by doing all we can to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 and the burden it will place on healthcare workers across this province. Above all, I know that the University of Regina will emerge from this time of trial stronger than ever, and it will do so because of each of you. Thank you.